Hi, my name is John. I attended the University of Florida from 2000 to 2005 as an aerospace engineering major. I have a strong understanding of fluid mechanics, material mechanics, and physics. I've put together some solutions for this Gulf oil spill that I'd like you to watch. I've received many comments claiming that BP is currently trying a solution that's very similar to mine. I'd like to assure you it's not, and I'd like to show you how it's different. I'd also like to explain how BP's current attempt to cap this well won't work, and then I'll explain why my solution will. The first method is to remove the riser at the blowout preventer and install a customized coupling device. ROVs will remove the old riser and install a coupler with a pre-attached new riser. The pre-attached riser is offset and can be pre-filled with chemicals to prevent hydrates from forming. An opening at the top allows pressure release while it's installed. The riser is then moved into place using a large wing nut and a threaded rod. The counterweight is removed and then bolts around the rim of the coupler are used to create a firm seal between the riser pipe and the coupling device. During actual application, the wing nut could be substituted with a more fitting approach. The second method is to cut through the riser pipe at the blowout preventer and install a customized coupler. This time instead of removing the old riser, ROVs will cut through the old riser and any surrounding supports. A cone-shaped coupler will then be lowered down around the pipe flange. Angled bolts will hold it in place from underneath the flange. A gasket made of softer material such as copper, aluminum, or lead will be put in place between the flange and the coupler. This will provide for a tighter seal. A pre-filled riser plate will be moved into place using a wing nut and a threaded rod, and the counterweight will be removed. Bolts around the rim of the coupler will hold it in place for a tight seal. BP is attempting to cap the well using what they call the Lower Marine Riser Package Cap, or LMRP Cap. At a glance, this may look quite similar to the methods that I've proposed, but in fact there are some major flaws with this configuration that I'll demonstrate. As you'll see, the riser pipe at the top of the cap has a much smaller diameter than the opening at the bottom, and so the LMRP actually works as a reducer. As the LMRP cap is lowered onto the blowout preventer, massive pressure will build beneath it. The pressure will exert great force against all the inner surfaces of the cap. Equal and opposite forces will essentially cancel out, but the upward forces caused by the reduction in pipe diameter will work against any attempts to keep the cap in place. These forces will be massive, ranging from 400,000 pounds of force to 2.2 million pounds of force, all pushing up against the cap. With such massive upward forces, it will be nearly impossible to hold the cap in place and sustain a tight seal. I'll demonstrate using a simple garden hose the subtle but critical differences between the LMRP method and the methods that I've put forth. The water from the hose will represent the outflow of oil from the leaking wellhead. The LMRP cap will be represented by a hose fitting and attached tubing. As the reductive fitting is lowered, back pressure builds and the flow escapes beneath the cap. Keep in mind this water pressure is only at about 60 pounds per square inch, whereas the pressure at the leaking wellhead is between 4 and 8,000 pounds per square inch. The coupling device that I've proposed will be represented by a straight hose fitting. A non-reductive configuration with an open top to relieve all pressure will allow the device to be easily situated and tightly secured in place. The riser pipe can then be shifted into place quite easily while obstructing only a minimal amount of the outflow.